when Stefania and me were married, we came for our honeymoon to the valleys of Carpathia, in Middle Europe, where I was born. We were happy like children. All nature seemed to enjoy with us. I was proud for my town, and now Stephanie found for it much sentiment. at the inn of old Roman. He was a friend of my father and of my grandfather. Hey, Stefan. Old Roman was proud to see us, the third generation taking rest at his inn. Sincerely, as father to us, he emptied the glass, wishing to our future. For me and Stephanie, the world was so wonderful, the horizon so clear for us. For Christmas of that year, we were at the house of Stephanie's parents. Many of the family were together for Christmas. Oh, Mitzi! Good evening, Unia! Mitzi, why did you come here today? There was Stephanie's mother, always so kind. And Stephanie's sister, Maria. Grandfather, an engineer, like me. Always so patient to answer each question of Maria's son. Stefanie's father, a lawyer, and Maria's husband. And with us, too, my young brother, Ladu, who came to stay with us for his school years. <laughs> and I, so proud and so sure. Next year we were again with old Roman, but there was much difference. The newspaper said everything about war, that it would come very soon. I was anxious for Stephanie. We should go home quickly. Unka! Old Roman remembered many years of war in other times. He remembered the young men going with a smile, and how few came back. And now again the same story. Stephanie had no care. She was happy in our holiday. But I must tell her how dark is the sky. Then came the broadcast. Very serious. We must go. For me, the army. For Stephanie, who can tell? Jana Pyszówam. 
Do pobaczenia, pana Roma. Ciłuj ruczkę. Jop. It was the last time we saw old Roman. people from the towns and villages, filling the reds with refugees. And Mike went to fight, leaving Stephanie in their new home. Russian and German against us, from each side. What can we do? There is not hope for us. It is too much. Nine nations ever run in a year. Fear and confusion. Confusion and fear. And Mike was a prisoner. Moshe, Moshe. Duck. How can the people escape from war, from the fear of death? And Lado went to the partisan. He is too young for this danger. Death and destruction. Hunger and homelessness. Confusion and loneliness. Fear and despair. People dispersed, scattered, separated sent away to labor camps, or left behind in desolation, uncertainty, and fear. Four years of war and occupation. First Russians, then German soldier in our house. Twice Mike was to prison. Then he was set free. Our daughter was born, our little Kinga. But we are afraid for her. to Germany.